Hi there. Um, just wanted to talk a little bit about this book. I just finished reading it last week, and by coincidence this morning, I saw a thumbs up on a video about this. Now, it was from Do in the Morning. She has an excellent channel here, and there'll be a link to her channel in the low bar. But I thought it was such a coincidence. I thought I would talk a little bit about the book and a little bit about the premise of Martin Nowak. But don't take my word for it. Uh, look at his video and get the book yourself. If you look at the first link in the low bar, you're going to see a video, the one that Do in the Morning thumbed up, that I was so impressed with also when I watched it. Um, it is Professor Martin Nowak himself talking about the book and talking about the theories that he presents in the book. And it's a, it's a great capsule of his work. Now, the second link is to a Telegraph newspaper article. To be honest, um, if I had known what that article says, uh, the fact that uh, Martin Nowak happens to be a Catholic, I, as a non-believer, I probably wouldn't have bought the book. But uh, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I read it. There's no indication in the book um, that his Catholicism has in any way influenced his rigorous science. And... Um, so he does make one reference in the book to uh, quote God unquote, and that's all he does, and that's Einstein. That's a quote, the, the famous quote from Einstein um, about God being an abstraction. Otherwise, there is nothing in the book, and that one reference to God is certainly um, God with air quotes. I mean, it's not the theological God. It's not the God as a father figure in any way. Um, also, you need to realize as you're looking at this that. Uh, Noack worked for nine years at Oxford with some of the really most famous names in evolutionary biology, including John Maynard Smith and um, Bill Hamilton. He worked also, of course, with uh, Richard Dawkins himself. So, uh, you know, and the books work on the importance of altruism and um, reciprocity. Um, it seems very rigorous. And a good part of what accounts for its rigor is the, the work of this, this beautiful woman on the right here, whose name is uh, Karina Tarina, I think, I hope I mispronounced her last name. Um, she did a lot of work on game theory, and she is a, an amazing mathematician who also is a, she's a graduate student in mathematics, evolutionary mathematics at Harvard. I think she's gotten her PhD by now, but her work allowed um, for the discovery that cooperation works very well in aspects of game theory, aspects that actually uh, Nowak outlines in the first video. So I know, as usual, my videos are hard work. If you don't check the low bar, you, you miss a lot of the content. But I just thought that talking about altruism and talking about its importance makes a lot of sense. If you do watch the video, which is, as I said, the first link in the low bar, it outlines one thing that I had misgivings about, because cooperation can be a two-edged sword. Um, I mean, at frame 22, at the question and answers at the end, I, I don't remember, Ross and I think, maybe his name, um, one of the interviewers, talks about how, you know, the Mafia cooperated, Nazis cooperate, is, cooperation can be a very bad thing in, in certain circumstances. And that had bothered me as I was reading the book, because, you know, you can see groupthink that leads to a lot of big problems. And as Nowak points out, cooperation and that kind of thing, it, it's necessary, but it's not sufficient um, for an ethical society. So that was, I liked hearing him say that, because I didn't see that outline specifically in the book. But watch the whole of the video. Um, it's not that long, and um, it's well worth your time, in my opinion. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care. Bye-bye.